Are you looking to buy a home in 2023 and wondering if I should get a resale home or a new construction? We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of buying new construction here in Arizona. Buying a home in 2023 new construction. What are your thoughts? We've, we've definitely been aware of the market, in the market, looking around, whether that be for us or someone else. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, we're very well aware of the market here and new construction. And um, what, what are some pros and cons? I know for us, you love like the new aspect. New, new clean. Floors, the new walls, new paint, new, new, new. And I mean, the one of the bigger perks I think is, is warranty, a home warranty. Um, you, you, that really plays a huge role into purchasing a home because let's face it guys, things happen. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to say the homes are built the same way as they were 50 years ago, but, um, they are, you know, I, I think some of the older homes have the bones. They always talk about the bones of a home. They might be a little bit more maintained or, or they're more established. Um, you know, if you, if you find a builder that just kind of slaps something together, um, you might find a lot of problems there. Um, so, but you got to do your homework and do your research and find out what might work for you um, yes. overall. And you want to make sure that if you're going to buy a new build, you want to make sure that you have a realtor that represents you right. because the realtors there will represent the builder. That's right. So you need a realtor to represent you. This is going to be one of the biggest purchases of your life. So why would you do this alone that you would need a realtor there to represent you? So in purchasing a new build, there are some cons as far as if you're out there shopping, especially if you're doing it by yourself, yeah. you're not aware of the builders here in Arizona and yeah. what um, the buzz is as yeah. far as who's having issues as builders and who's not, you know. A lot of my clients, they like particular builders and some of the builders are great, some of the other builders aren't so great. Yeah. However, that doesn't mean that the house that you are going to get into, you're gonna have issues. However, just make sure you have that Don't counsel. skip the inspection. Whether you're buying a resale house or a new house, make sure you're there for the walkthrough inspection. If you're not there, then make sure that your realtor is there to help represent you, um, whether that be with a spouse, a family member, whoever else is there with the realtor, just make sure you don't skip yeah, the yeah. walkthrough. Yeah. Where do you sit? New build or resale? What, as far as what I would like for my future home? Yeah, what do you, where do you sit? Um, Honestly, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> she didn't know that was coming. <laughs> no, I didn't. But honestly, I would say it depends on what times that we're in. Yeah. If I was to purchase a home today, this month, I would go with a new build. Mm -hmm. I would go with a new build because there are so many incentives out there that new builders are offering that they have not offered. And that is different from the resale homes because right now with the resale home, you can get a house in like the six, seven, six to seven, you know, percent range, sometimes even eight, depending on your credit. Um, that's the interest rates that are going on right now. However, a lot of the new builds, they are buying down the rate to about 4.99 or lower. So I've seen them out there. I've seen new builders offer incentives. Um, one of the real, costs, yeah. yeah, paying for the closing costs, giving 20,000 towards Anything. closing yeah. costs, buying down the interest rate or paying for upgrades. Yeah. So um, the new builders out there, this is a good time to get in with the new build if you're interested in the new build. There are some of the resale homes that the seller is offering buy down to where you can get that lower percentage rate, but that's something that the seller has to be okay with. Um, and there's some lenders out there that are yeah. have some great packages yeah. that can really put together the loan that you need. Yeah. Um, but. First and foremost. Where do I sit? Oh my goodness. I don't know where I sit. <laughs> where do you sit? <laughs> New build or resale? I don't know. Um, I, I've i always been in the air. I know. She didn't know that was coming either. I don't know where I sit. I, I love the new builds. I do love the new builds and how they're, they're, they're made and just that whole fresh aspect and it's new and you know what you're walking into. Um, 
However, there's to reset the resale. I do sometimes like that aspect, especially because she knows I'm not a builder and I don't like projects. Like I don't like, I don't like putting things together. Um, mm -hmm. So when it comes to the landscaping, when it comes to the, you know, the, the, the wall units or the, 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 the brick lay or some of those things that are, that come after the purchase, um, if you're not buying it and, and you don't know that it's coming, then it, it could be a task and it could be a project. Mm -hmm. And I don't like projects. I love when it's already done. I, I don't mind, I'll say that I don't mind going into a resale um, if the previous owner has already done it. Because some of those can be very expensive and it's already been done. But um, it's just one of those things you have to put it on the table, weigh your pros and cons, um, and then go from there. Yes. In today's market, you can get a lot more though in um, new builds if mm -hmm. you're interested in new builds. So oh, there are some of those new builders out there that likes that allows you to semi custom your new build as far as turning, um, say, making the laundry room smaller, but giving you more of a space for a walk in closet or giving you the option for instead of two and a half bathrooms, you can get three bathrooms. So if you have a very unique situation as far as what you want your next home to be, then it's very possible that you can find a new builder out there in the area that you desire that will customize the home as it's being built. For resales, there are those custom homes out there, so you can definitely get a custom home within uh, the resale market, but it's custom to what that previous, previous owner customized. Mm -hmm. To where yes it's very unique yes it will work for you yes it's a great option however it's something that you didn't customize yeah so yeah. but there's there's yeah. plus and minuses on yep. both of those one aspects. thing that one thing that Brittany is really good at is finding out a resale that's good for your taste right you yeah. all have different tastes and you know if that's for, for instance i mean i'll just throw you know one of our scenarios before was you know we we once had two bathrooms right and it's like we like for me, bathrooms are important. You know, we've got two kids having two bathrooms to two, you know, family of four. That could be a little bit interesting, right? I need at least yeah. three. At least yeah. three, you know, two and a half, three, two and a half, maybe three is really full baths is what I is what I want. And, you know, when you have your specifics, you really, you know, at customizations, Brittany is very good at, at finding that for you. And uh, I think you guys should really check that out. Yes. If you don't know, I'm a realtor right here in the state of Arizona. So if you are currently in the market or will be in the market soon for a house, whether that is a resale house or a new build, I'm your girl. Make sure you call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me. I would love to help you out. We've had so many people calling us and texting us that are relocating out here yeah. in the next couple months. And it's so exciting. I'm so happy for those families. And guys, it's also her birthday month. Yes. It's her birthday month. <laughs> it's my birthday She's got month. a birthday cake here, Oreo cookie cake. She's turning, well, I won't say that. I'll let her tell you how old she's turning, but it's her birthday <laughs> month. It's coming up and she <laughs> wants to celebrate her birthday all month long. Yes, We've all month. We've got some things planned. Um, so I'm excited. So yeah, follow me on Instagram or him on Instagram. We've never announced your Instagram. Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram <laughs> and, um, I'm sure you'll see a little bit of the birthday festivities. There better be a lot of them. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm she's just kidding. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> One of the cons about new builds, unless it's a quick move in is that if you need to get into a home pretty quickly, um, especially when you would like to customize it, it may take a couple of months, maybe even a year or two to build. Um, so it's just the timing that if you need to get a, to a home right now or in the next couple of months or weeks, then your best bet is to go to a new build to see what their quick move-ins are. And most of the time on their quick move-ins, there are some pretty good deals because those homes are already done. So yeah. you're basically getting what's already built. Yeah. And they usually have what they call spec homes, yeah. which are built to the, you know, the designer of the home's quality of what they look for, what their, what, what their build is, you know, via their floor, walls, countertops, yeah. like, um, and accessories in the home. So that's, you'll get that. And there's some beautiful ones that are out there. You know, we've seen a few.
there. And when it comes to new builds, you can get all, you know, different price ra price ranges, all the way from, you know, 300,000 to 1.2 million or whatever your price range is that there are new builds out here in all ranges especially here on the west valley west valley is growing so the con about getting a new build here in arizona is that most of the time they are not going to come with a pool which you know some people want to like do their own landscaping don't want a pool, yeah. and kind of design their own you know backyard so yeah. um yeah, and a lot of people here, they don't want a pool. They know the risk of a pool and not they don't have a desire to have a pool. However, I will say this. There are some communities with new builds that actually have amazing pool, um, a pool community. They actually have their own pool, which you go to, which, again, that that's all part of your association. But, um, you know, they have, some of them have slides. They have multiple uh -huh. pools in the community. They have fun pads or splash pads. They have so many different options and, you know, you, they, they take all the risk, I should say, you're paying for it with association, but all the stuff that, re that, that requires a pool to be taken care of, they, they take care of that. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's cool. Again, my name is Brittany Badger, a realtor here in the state of Arizona. I would be, we would be happy to help you out, have a conversation with you. Um, show you around Arizona, give you a little tour of what you were looking for in the city that you're looking for. Make sure you hit the like button so that that way it kind of gets this video out there to all of the other wonderful people that would like to move here to Arizona. Right. Hit the notification bell so that anytime a new video comes out, you are notified. And wish her a happy birthday in the comment below. It's her birthday yes. month. She's going to celebrate big. February is her birthday month, but... It's, 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 it's going to be a good month. So happy birthday. And Thank you. Let's, let's sell some homes. <laughs> <laughs>